So today we're going to analyze uh, what I later found out was a TrickBot Banking Trojan and it comes to us in the form of a document. Uh, looking at it in a hex editor we see that it has a PK header which means it's a, it can be opened as a zip and doing so you just rename the document as a zip and open it up and we see that there is a VBA uh, project file in it. So we extract it out and throw it in a text editor and we see all the null bytes so we can go ahead and get rid of those with uh, an escape character just to make it a little more legible scrolling down a little ways we see the JavaScript that's going to be executed and opening up a URL to get a file called AAAA so we'll open up Mozilla and go ahead and fetch that file. The file turns out to be a VBS script and here we see that it's going to download a file called Petya uh, using PowerShell and using a variable passed from the previous script, this one. And that variable is amphibiousvehicle.eu slash file name. So we can go ahead and download that. And downloading that file, we get petcha.exe. Uh, it's important to note here that this is not Petcha ransomware. Uh, the name is just the same. Uh, this is something completely different. So here we see that the sections are a little messed up. Uh, PE Studio says they're self-modifying. Um, in the strings, not a whole lot, but there is enough for a uh, packer. In this case, PE Compact 2. And then virus total hits, uh, a lot of generic things. This is uh, a fairly new file, but we do see that it's starting to come in as TrickBot. When I initially analyzed this, I believe it only had three or four virus hits on it. So this is uh, up and coming. So to unpack the file, just to make analysis a little bit easier, if we were going to do in-depth analysis on this, we're going to go ahead and unpack PE Compact 2. And by doing that, we just throw it in a debugger and get to the entry point. At the entry point, we take the first value that's moved into EAX, and we jump to that and scroll all the way down until we see a jump to a variable, or to a register, in this case, jump EAX. And then we take one step past that, and boom, we're at the entry point. So now we can use a, uh, a dumper and a import reconstructor, such as Scylla or Imprec, Chimprec, any of those, and we can dump the file out dump it and then fix the dump now the import should be good again this is uh, more for in-depth analysis later if you're going to throw this in IDA that way you can see it and see what's going on in this case I'm just demonstrating how to unpack P compact 2 Here we see that it's written in uh, Visual C++ 8. And of course now, uh, much more strings are available. Uh, we see a lot of crypt stuff. Uh, some clipboard things. A few anti-analysis measures, things like that. So now we're going to get ready to run Petya uh, just to see its behavioral analysis. Um, I have run this before and the file does have quite a few delays. Um, ultimately it takes about 30 minutes to get all of the additional modules that uh, you'll see here momentarily. Um, at first the, uh, the Trojan sits and waits for quite a while 
then it get, gets an initial uh, system info module. And then after that, a little while later, it'll start to pull down more modules, like uh, injection modules and um, more functionality for uh, banking account theft, things of, things of that nature. So here we're going to run it. And we see Petcha.exe. And here shortly, Petcha will close out after it copies itself to another folder. And I'll show you that now. And it goes to this WinApp folder. Now, like I said, I've previously analyzed this. So the client ID and the group tag are usually in there. And then these modules will slowly come in as time progresses. And they each have different functionality. And they are all encrypted with uh, true encryption. I didn't do full analysis on this. But um, analyzing the unpacked binary and the code that is injected into service host, if you notice down in sandboxy down at the bottom right, service host is up and running. That's because uh, code is injected from the banking trojan into those uh, using process hollowing. And that allows them uh, greater flexibility with the security context that it's running in. But that's it. Uh, see Ring Zero Labs for more information. We do have a report out on this. And as time progresses, more antivirus companies will have more information as well.